this test in here guys uh, today i just witnessed something unfortunate eh? someone's car just got impounded i don't know who it is i was just um walking in town buying myself some pairs of trousers and i come out to see someone's car getting impounded i'll do some research for you as to what causes cars to get impounded so that next time you're fully informed and you know what's happening but anyway guys pretty weekend this doesn't I just came from the city where you saw that car um, getting impounded and uh, I'm here to give you a few reasons why your vehicle would get impounded or why your vehicle would get clamped uh, in the city of Harare. Okay, there are a few reasons why that would happen. Uh, so the first reason is getting in there and not paying for parking. Okay, so parking in Harare is uh, $1 per hour. If you want to be there for two or three hours, just make sure that you pay your $3 up front. However, if you don't pay, uh, you will be fined um, 132 Dollars. So reason number two why you would not get uh, why you would get clamped um, in the city of Harare there is uh, there are designated places for parking so not every place is a parking bay so before you park make sure that you park in a parking bay because you can get clamped and parking in a place that is not designated as a parking there are certain parking bays that are reserved for embassies and uh, companies NGOs and so on some are reserved for taxis only some are reserved as offloading bays so if you then go and park in such a place you might find yourself getting clamped in fact you will find yourself getting clamped because they are quite efficient when it comes to clamping for violations because obviously a lot a lot of money is to be made from the $132 for a traffic violation guys that's a lot of money number three is um, they call it indecent parking okay so the parking bays are, are demarcated and we you know with these parking lines they like, there'll be lines on the ground which demarcate the different um, parking bays and if you park with your wheel straddling the line if you step on the line with your car right you start the, the, the line and you leave it like that that's considered indecent parking and uh, it, besides you paying for parking you will still get clamped for that and you'll still have to go and pay your fine so make sure guys when you park in town make sure that uh, you park properly you're in the parking bay and it's a designated parking bay reason number four why you would get clamped is having um, an expired permit vehicle permit okay so you need to make sure that your, uh, your vehicle registration or your permit is valid uh, locally we call it mutero make sure could you name mutero guys if you don't have mutero the clamp is coming on you so make sure that uh, you have a, a valid registration every time you go into town because the moment you go there and you park and they check that you are not um, you're in violation you don't have your permit um, then obviously the clamp is going to come onto you and they will clamp you so yeah guys those are the violations some of them if i've left any please do indicate in the comment section down below if i've left out any of uh, uh, the other reasons why you would get clamped uh, but yeah so now let's move on to why your car would then get towed away or uplifted like you saw in that video so if you get clamped and you need to pay a fine make sure that you pay your fine the very same day that you got clamped okay because the city is not going to take the risk of clamping your car and leaving your car there overnight it's just not safe to do that because then there's no one at night anyone can come and um, break into your car so on and so forth so what they will do they will then come with their truck at the end of their shift and they will uplift your car put it on their trailer and tow it away to the impound lot right they'll tow it away to the impound and you will then need to follow them and go to the impound and number one 
you need to pay for the traffic violation and you then also need to pay for the tow away fees and if you don't act in time the impound lot charges for storage so you that you then have to pay for storage but i don't i don't know what the storage charges are but whatever they are you don't want to pay them guys make sure that uh, you you know you're not in violation so the, these are very simple violations to to stick to they're very very simple violations to stick to guys uh you just need to make sure that you're in the proper bay uh you pay for parking you don't park indecently and you have that one dollar for every hour that you want to park in the city of harare and of course there's been an outcry of late uh, that the uh, penalties are too steep for the violations that they don't match the violations i guess that's going to be debated maybe the charges will go down in the future but as of now guys make sure that you pay attention be careful when you go in the city be safe drive safe and park safely that's all i have for you guys for this video if you have any other reasons um why this would happen or why you get clammed or towed away please do uh comment please do drop a comment in the comment section but guys thank you for watching i'll see you on the next one cheers